Blue envelopes are now available for drivers with special needs at Riverside County Sheriff Stations. As News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco shows us, it's part of a new program by the Sheriff's Department to improve communication between deputies and people with special needs during situations like traffic stops. Getting pulled over can be stressful, especially for people with special needs. The Riverside County Sheriff's Office is working to improve these types of interactions between law enforcement and members of the community through its newly launched Blue Envelope program. In a video, the Sheriff's Office details how it works. You see a driver with special needs running a stop sign, then getting pulled over. Do you have your license and registration? I have a blue envelope. Okay, can I see it? Can I reach for it? Yes, of course. The blue envelope is meant to hold a copy of the driver's license, auto registration, and proof of auto insurance. Also on the envelope is a space for handwritten notes about the driver's special needs, along with guidelines for a deputy, like allowing a driver extra time to respond. Palm Desert resident Jessica Patelli thinks programs like these are important to bridging communication gaps between people with special needs and law enforcement. Thank you. I feel like it could de-escalate situations before they even get to that point. After 14 years in education as a teacher, she's now a certified in-home support specialist who takes care of her 20-month-old son with special needs. He is very vocal, so we're hoping that he becomes completely verbal, but we're <clears throat> pretty delayed with speech right now. She compares the Blue Envelope program to individualized education programs that address the specific needs of a student at school. It's giving the person the opportunity to kind of get an understanding of what's going on and how to approach the situation. Even though her son is very young, she still thinks about what this means for him down the road. And I'm imagining that if he was you know, 16, maybe he might not be able to explain that to them or under a high stress situation like that, being interacting with a police officer. According to the Autism Society Inland Empire, by the time they reach age 21, one in five autistic youths will have been questioned by police and one in 20 will be arrested. Patelli thinks programs like these will help keep people with special needs safe. You know, you have plenty of kids with special needs, people with special needs that can drive, that you can't see what's going on with them or that there's something different about them, and you would need that different approach. In Palm Desert, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.